Discipline is a must for sportsbook players in this game. Sometimes the right play is no play. Find out why next. <laughs> Tony T here, breaking down the big NBA TV games, Vegas style, right here on GamblersTelevision.com. All right, now it's time for a coverage out west, late night, Lakers at Portland. Portland, an 11-point home underdog, 10.30 p.m. Eastern time, NBA pay-per-view to televise. You know, the Lakers, they're a hot team right now, and the bookies are getting pounded by the public who are betting this L.A. Lakers team. The Lakers failed to cover against Portland in the last meeting because the point spread with the Lakers now are just getting out of hand. They're just out of whack. Heading into their game with the Trailblazers on Tuesday, Lakers were 13-1 against the spread. And the bookies, in order to reverse this trend, are inflating the point spread on the Lakers, and especially against struggling teams, to try and win back their money bet on them by the public. Buyer beware on the Lakers here because you will not get a good number with them. And the only value you will have at this point with the Lakers against bad teams is look for situations against bad teams to bet against them because of point spread inflation. Brandon Roy is expected to miss this game with a bad ankle once again, and the point spread is out of whack. I can't make a recommendation on this Blazers team. I'm not saying they're bad. They're pretty much average at this point, and they're out of the playoffs. So make a pass on this game. My selection, pass. Be sure to visit and bookmark my TV show page at www.gamblerstelevision.com for continuous point spread coverage on the NBA and college basketball. Gamblers Television, get addicted.